I am running off of two iced coffees and pure spite. Hi, welcome to my video. I assume you guys have been here for a while because no one else watches my channel except for you guys. Anyway, today we are making almond cookies that are completely dairy-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, and they're vegan. They're pretty great. I've never made the recipe, but I made it up. So let's dive right in. First off, we are going to start with a cup of almond flour. Oh wait, preheat your oven to 350. I think you just leave, yeah. Okay, now start off with a cup of almond flour and then this is only three, this is only a couple ingredients. Then you get a cup of almond butter. That's disgusting. But make sure to mix it because almond butter's real picky, just like my sister. And scoop it into that cup or dump it, I guess. That's about a cup and add it to your almond flour. Make sure to get all of it out. You want to use all of the almond butter you can because almond butter is a very important part of this. Next, you want to use about, where's my, I wrote down the recipe. Half a teaspoon of almond extract, just to give it some more, just to give it a real good almondy flavor. Then you get your electric mixer. And here we go. Who put the, who put the spatula in there? Get a spatula and combine it together. Just really mix it. If you look, if it looks like it is too much almond flour, that's the perfect consistency. That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh man, it smells delicious. It smells like pure happiness. And pure gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, veganness. Look at that consistency, just like a cookie. Just keep mixing and mixing until you real till you have like this nice dough. If you want to add more almond butter or more flour, that's completely up to you. Next, we need to prepare our baking sheet. You can use a, a baking sheet with parchment paper, but I like to use mine with a little almond oil. You can just drizzle a little. Yike, that's a lot. And then spread it out with a paper towel. Since I don't have cooking spray, just gonna spread it out with a little paper towel. I highly suggest using parchment paper so you don't have to clean the pan. Just keep spreading. And then you can use a ice cream scoop, but I know I like to use, I like to divide by hand each little cookie ball, get them into a couple, roll them up into a little ball and place on your and place on your baking sheet. Repeat until you run out of dough. And you should get about 12 cookies out of this recipe. Make sure to clean up as you go. And make sure to wash your hands because your hands are gonna get really oily after all this. 
very oily. Just clean up as you go. Make sure to put everything back where it belongs. Once you're done, of course. Now don't think I, I forgot about the almond part of these almond cookies. You can take a whole almond or shredded almonds, whichever you prefer, and just kind of push them down into the, into the cookie to kind of make them flat. And it doesn't matter which way you push them. You can put them, just put them on top. If you're using shredded almonds or like almond chips, then you can just sprinkle a little bit on top. And at this point, if you don't like how close together they are, feel free to spread them out a little bit. Wow, that's a big almond. Almost as big as your mother. And that one is a disgrace to its family, like me. Just really put them in there. Now look how beautiful our almond cookies are. Aren't they gorgeous? Now make sure to put a, keep cleaning up as you go. Keep cleaning up as you go. Unlike your life, I know you haven't been cleaning it up as you go. Why don't you stop watching this video right now and clean your room? I know your mom asked you to a while ago and you still haven't. Clean your room. And now we just wait for the oven to continue preheating. So just continue cleaning. Make sure everything's all clean so that you don't have a huge mess to clean up later. Like what happens when you lie and need to clean up a big mess later. Oh, the oven's starting to finally heat up. Now, if you want to, one of my favorite things to do is to drizzle a little more almond oil on them. That's a lot! Just kind of really just rub it in, rub it in. Make sure to get all of the oil all over the cookies. They're gonna be fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Keep cleaning as you go. Keep cleaning as you go. I need more coffee. This may look like a lot of oil, but trust me, there is no such thing as too much oil. There is no such thing as too much oil. No such thing as too much oil. Now the cookie, no. <laughs> that was a little oopsie. I can't believe I almost said that. The oven. It's almost completely preheated. Now it's now time to check to make sure your brother's cast irons aren't in there. And while the oven is continuing to preheat, you gotta take out all of the extremely hot cast irons that your brother leaves in the oven all the time and put them in the other oven. Now that your oven is empty of your brother's cast irons and they're all put in the other oven, to cool the frick down. Once your oven is preheated, once the oven is preheated, you can go ahead and slide your cookies in and leave them in for like eight to 10 minutes. And in this time, if you have any more mess that you need to clean up that you didn't before, Go ahead and do that. Go rethink your life. Make sure to clean up your mess. We'll clean up our mess when we clean up yours. I'm recording. How to put it back in my pocket. Now it's been about eight minutes 
So we're going to do a little checkup on them. You're going to want to zoom in. Look at those. They have gathered some little feet. Ow, that's hot. So they're still a little soft, but they have gathered some little feet. So I know I'm doing something right, but they're still a little doughy. So we're going to give them about two more minutes. But these cookies rose up, which I thought was odd. I thought they were going to spread out, but like a normal cookie should. I'm going to just put them back in the oven for like two more minutes. I need more coffee. Okay, it's been another two minutes, so let's see how these bad boys are doing. They smell like they're burning. No. This is my human hand. My bare hands are upstairs. We can let them go for just a tiny bit longer. Oh, yeah, yeah. If your house smells like french fries, either from Cane's or McDonald's, you're doing something right. All my friends decide to text me while I'm just making a video. Look how sexy these cookies are. They are, mmm. And so now we're gonna leave them to cool for a bit. And while they cool, you can clean up any mess that you didn't before. They're going to take a hot second to clean. I actually cleaned up my mess, unlike you. Oh, you could also turn off your oven. That was almost a disaster. Now that they're somewhat cooled, we're going to move them from, from the tray. Wow, that just went up so smoothly. right up onto the plate. Try not to get any of the foot on there. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell these cookies. They smell le magnifique. Just whenever you have this much, just kind of brush it off. Look how gorgeous these cookies are. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna cry, they're so gorgeous. Pan should be pretty easy to clean off because of all this foot stuff. You can just go in the trash, like you. Make sure the pan's not hot and you can just, ew. That pan's gonna be a nightmare to clean. Look at these, they are gorgeous. Completely gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, and vegan. Who else can make stuff like that? Now for a taste test, but first we're gonna grab a glass because what's cookies without milk? Almond milk. Make sure to shake it. What's cookies without milk? I mean, come on. So I think I'm gonna take this little guy right here and just dip him in the milk. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Mmm. They're so good. Oh my gosh. The flavor is immaculate. Like, I have never tasted a better almond cookie. This here is my little brother. He's our cameraman. Okay, choose one of the cookies and try it out. You can put it in the almond milk if you want. They're a little crumbly. They look like you took a pile of sand and stuck an almond in the center. Try it though, and make sure you can get some almond milk. <laughs> They're a little crumbly. What do you think? They're, the 
sticking to every single part of my mouth. And it tastes like almond. They're almond cookies. Would you look at that? These almond cookies taste like almonds. You wouldn't even know that you're eating something gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, and vegan. Did you know? Come back. Did you know that these are gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, and vegan? And disgusting. Wow! Make yours today. Thanks for watching my show. Make sure to tune in next time to watch you cut it. <laughs> I forgot to say, make sure to subscribe and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs>